Mother Nature never fails to bewilder those who gaze upon her meticulously sculpted rock structures. We're lucky enough to behold many of these naturally formed geological art installations thanks to the tectonic activity of the Grand Staircase. Though these breathtaking formations exist throughout the Million Acre Monument, these are some of the special treats you're given if you ride outside of Tropic on a little road known as Cottonwood. Owner-operator of Grand Staircase ATV Tours, Joey Shakespeare, is an expert on the monument, as well as he should be. He's been giving guided ATV tours in the area for two decades. So we're in the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. It's huge. Um, we're on the, what's called the Cottonwood Road. Um, takes us down past some cool highlights, places like Grosvenor Arch here. Uh, Grosvenor Arch actually wraps into what they call the Coxcomb. That's a monocline. Uh, it's a fault line that's shifted. Um, this area here they call the gut <laughs> because it's one of those places that you just get stuck in that's uh, along that fault line. The gnarled rock layers surrounding Cottonwood Road can take you as far as even the next town. With trails that offshoot from the main road and plenty to stop and see along the way, this adventure can be as short or as long as you please. Uh, this road will take you down all the way through to um, Highway 89, south of Kanab. A great UTV trail, off-road trail, um, goes along the river. Um, the total trail is probably 45 miles long from the where you get off the pavement at Kodachrome State Park. There is some trails that go off of this road that can take you out and dead end and not go anywhere. There's some slot canyons that you can get off and hike into, uh, Cottonwood Narrows North, Cottonwood Narrows South. There's the Hackberry Trail, uh, Hackberry Canyon, that's a slot canyon. This is an area we can go and ride 70, 80 miles on approved um, monument trails. Although the Grand Staircase area may be one of the most remote places in the West, the access to all the adventure on the Cottonwood Road is nothing short of phenomenal. You can just take um, Highway 12 East to Cannonville, uh, turn right in Cannonville, come out to the Kodachrome State Park. The road will turn into a dirt road at that point, and you're actually on the Cottonwood Road um, where the turnoff is to Kodachrome State Park. Um, like I said, it's about 45 miles. If you take the road all the way through, there is a lot of trails that go off, uh, spurs that come off of that main trail. So just go prepared. That's a, kind of the old, the old motto, go prepared. One of the best ways to prepare is by utilizing the town of Tropic, not only for its convenient post and pre-adventure supplies, but also to use it as a center point for all of the exploration that you can do in the area. We're based out of Tropic, which is kind of a, a central hub for a lot of these trails out here. You can go and ride. Uh, there's a really nice gas station uh, in Tropic that you can get your side-by-sides and ATVs into. Um, good little restaurant right there, kind of a grab-and-go. A few good restaurants there as far as the barbecue place. The pizza place is really good. Um, quick and easy, in and out stuff. And there's plenty of hotels and vacation rentals and places to stay in Tropic. Tropic makes a great base camp to base out of because you can go several directions out of there and hit lots of different trails. After you stop in Tropic, head south and follow the Cottonwood Road for a one-of-a-kind journey through a land that not even pictures can quite describe. For At Your Leisure and this week's Where To, I'm Nick Chase.